Okay, so welcome to the first lecture of this awesome course. Okay, so pretty much what we need to do is uh, set up the AWS EC2 Linux instance. Then we need to upgrade, update and upgrade the operating system. Um, then we need to install uh, LEMP and then sort out the SSL certificates and then uh, install WordPress and then uh, install WooCommerce on top of WordPress. And then pretty much uh, we have our e-commerce store uh, sorted out and online, okay? So in short, uh, you, uh, usually people might use LAMP instead of LEMP. LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP. That's what you need. That's what uh, you need to set up a Linux-based web server, okay? Um, Injinx is a newer technology uh, compared to Apache and it allows you to have um, a lot of traffic to your website at the same time um, doing transactions on your website at the same time and then your web server can handle all that uh, traffic a lot better okay than what an Apache server can do so Injinx is much better at handling an overload in resource requests. Um, if a hundred people visit your website at the same time and they buy, they want to purchase something on your website at the same time, Injinx is a web server that can handle that better than Apache. Okay? And then um, M is MySQL, it's a database, and P, PHP, communications functionality or the communications layer between the front end and the back end, PHP and um, it's also a coding language but it's a back-end uh, coding language okay uh, I would advise you to Google LEMP Google LAMP and yeah just get more clarity on that a lot of you already know exactly what it is um, okay so this course as I said in the introduction is more geared towards people that are interested in AWS okay and so I put a little course together which uh, combines AWS EC2 Linux instance and then uh, as an example as a practical example I uh, show you how to install how to set up a running e-commerce website on that AWS EC2 Linux instance okay Okay, so just to prove to you quickly that I have um, successfully done this already. Um, my website for my JP Courses uh, business is currently running off um, an EC2 instance. I used to have it on HostGator, as you can see. This is why the icon is still there. But it's now running off a AWS EC2 instance. Okay, I still have a bit of work to do on my website. Um, pretty new, but yeah. Okay, so this is my website. And everything's working. It's pretty fast and this is loaded from the instance that uh, uh, is hosted in uh, London okay as you can see I'll show you in a moment so I'm currently running one instance and I've chosen the London one okay and this is my uh, let me go to the instance to show you okay so this is my instance and this is where this website of mine is running off of okay so let me quickly sh try and show you I'm using currently using putty as the SSH into the server so I'm just loading it quickly and let's open it okay so I've got that working uh, 
So yeah, this is Let's go into it quickly. Sorry, it's the wrong one. Okay, so yeah, so this is where I've got my uh, JP Courses website hosted. It's in this folder. Uh, at least on the WordPress site, the, the database obviously in the MySQL database and yes, okay so clear, uh, sorry, uh, cd, okay um, what I can probably show you is see if we can get it quick there you go, okay So that's one of the commands that I used to set up SSL certificate for my website. Okay. All right. So I'm going to close this one. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, launch an instance from a template. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go through the process of creating a new instance. Um, a lot of you will already know how to do that. This course is not about that. It is actually pretty easy. Uh, and AWS website guides you through the process. Okay. So I created an instance, uh, so a, a template from this way before I did all the uh, setup and so on. So early on in this instance, I created a template. So this is what we will do. We will create an instance from the template that I created from this launch template. Okay, so create launch template. That's what I did here. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's do that right now. Okay, so again, just a recap. Um, we are going to we are going to set up a uh, Ubuntu Linux instance on the AWS EC2, then uh, LEMP, uh, set LEMP up, um, and then uh, uh, SSL certificate, and then WordPress install, and then WooCommerce plugin, and then we're pretty much mostly done. Okay. So what I'm going to use for this uh, course as an example is one of my e-commerce websites. Uh, it's currently offline and uh, it's got a .com domain and yeah, so that's what we're going to use. Okay, so launch instance from template and I've got this template okay one number of instances I just want to create one instance um, the more instances you have um, the more redundancy you should have as well but uh, yeah, this course is not about um, the redundancy and all the other functionalities that you get with AWS, uh, EC2, etc. It's Amazon Machine, okay, instance type. So you can see it's an Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, that's the instance type. One CPU, virtual CPU, one gigabyte memory. Okay, on demand Linux pricing per hour, on demand Windows pricing, pretty cheap comparatively. Okay, so, and JP Courses, Amazon AWS. I, yeah, that's the name of the key pair that I need for SSH. Okay, Virtual Private Cloud. EC2 Classic launch into a single flat network that you share with other customers. Launch into a virtual network in your own logically isolated area within the AWS cloud. 
yeah, this is Virtual Private Cloud. It's default on that one. So I will leave it there. Subnet. Template or default value. Default value is what I shall leave it on. And in security groups, I've set up a security group for me there with uh, ports that I can access, um, should be able to access, okay. Storage volumes, 8 gigabytes, instance tags, no that's fine. Description, dancing merchant, okay. That all seems fine. Let's check if this works. So, network interfaces and instance level security groups cannot be specified together. Okay. So, I just need to remove this because it's at the instance level. Okay. So, I can set that up later at the instance level. I want to view the actual instance. Okay, so it seems to be up and running. It, that was actually quite quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use SSH for this, but I need to set up a couple of things. Um, yes, let's just check here. It's the um, private um, key that I have on my desktop. Um, and that's what I use to connect via SSH. Okay, so actually this is what I need for the PuTTY SSH. Okay, it's worked as you can see. Uh, let me. Okay, there we go. All right. CD var, CD www. Oh yeah, right. It's because I haven't. As you can see, there's no www um, folder in there yet because this is the new instance that was created from a template be from the pre uh, uh, original instance that's running my JP Courses website before I installed the web server. Okay. When you install the web server, um, I think it's the uh, uh, Nginx part at the very least via the commands that we're going to use then it uh, adds this www uh, to the folder okay so cool this is the new instance and sudo apt get update first let's do that okay and then we do the upgrade It's okay. And then once this is done, we can continue. Uh, so pretty much what we, we're just preparing the uh, Ubuntu operating system to install LIMP onto it. And I will continue with that in the next lecture. See you there.